everyone. So it's so it was not one thing after another, right? And um, today I redid my August Paradot look. Um, so it'll be on my Cookie Goose channel. My car broke down Saturday when I went to one of my crochet club. Um, the transmission uh, would not go into gear. And as I told you before, our rent increased by $400. And our income uh, went down by $10,000. And we were barely making the rent. And um, now we have to make car payments. I was looking on the internet for car dealers in the neighborhood. We, we can't afford a new car. So I thought, you know, maybe I can get another van for whatever, you know, $6,000. And um, apparently here in Texas, a van, if you want a van for like $6,000, it's going to be a, a year 2000 car. And mine is 2003. So why would I even do that? So, um... To get a newer car, like I think ours was like, I think 7000 and uh, when we bought it, whatever, 11 years ago, and, um, and it was a, a year old only, so I said, well, maybe we can find a used car that's a year old, and they're like $17,000 for ones that are like a year or two old, and... The only way to get one in between, you know, like some, like let's say you want one for like twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, it's gonna be, even if it's not, it's, it might be maybe three or four years old, which isn't bad, right? The mileage will be up to like seventy thousand, and we want it to stay within, you know, warranty, and you know, because we already know from experience, as the more mileage that's on the car. You know, things are going to start breaking down. And I didn't want to start getting into car payments. You know, and um, and I'm going to have a car that I'm going to have to put money into. So, we, you know, we were looking around. And my son's doctor's appointments, unfortunately, are the next town. Uh, going further south. It's a 35 to 45 minute drive. Um the programs and the services that he needs to be able to get into college, to get his, um, you know, just to get the requirements to get into college. It's all going into the next town over. And they had told me that if he misses any appointments, he's not going to be, uh, he's gonna not going to be accepted, that they're going to put him at, on a waiting list. And I, I can't have that. Could you imagine? you know, having a child with mental health issues and not getting their meds for a year. And uh, so, you know, I was desperate. And um, so we wound up getting the ones, the one that's 17000 and that's the cheapest. Um, they go up to, they go up to 20000 23,000, 25,000, and the cheapest that we could find was 17,000. So this week has been very stressful for me. I, I honestly, I, I don't know how we're going to make the payments on this car. You know, uh, on average, because this is a very hot and humid place, you have to have the air conditioner on all day. I do not keep it on at night and there's like no spring or fall anymore so you just like jump straight into winter so you got to turn on your heat so I would say on average our electricity is $200 a month um, I made a new deal with the phone company to bring down my you know to bring down the cell phone bill $100 um, you know when you've got your gas you know I think we put about $60 worth of gas in the car in a week and that's just from running errands like visiting my brother once or twice a week just from doing groceries running errands but now we're taking my son to the doctor so we're paying about sixty dollars a week in gas a week so 
when you take all that into consideration, your your you know utilities, you know your water, sewer, and all of that. Um, I just don't know how we're gonna make car payments. I mean, I can I couldn't wait. You know, I was hoping that I can wait till we got um you know any money you know the money's um from what's owed to my husband but you know that's that's gonna probably be another month before we see any money and it, it couldn't wait that long so um you know that would have putting that as a down payment would have lowered our monthly payments but unfortunately that's not you know in our old car it's 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 kaput it the door is broken the air condition is broken um it needs uh the wheels need new bearings um it needs quite a bit of work and uh you know we we paid that twelve hundred dollars for that car between four different things and it needs at least another four different things and another twelve hundred dollars worth of work um, because we needed it to look for a job, you know, we, we, we needed it to, to be able to move, you know, and I was like, oh God, please just, we just want to make it to this place, you know, and then I realized, I said, oh, well, we could just hold out until we get the money that's coming to my husband, you know, but, you know, that didn't happen, so here we are, I feel like I, I've been, I've been like crying, um, this has definitely been a year of desperate decisions for us because of circum circumstances beyond our control. Um, with this forced Obamacare, um, which will kick in in November, we're going to be coming home with even less money. So I think it's going to be something like uh, $600 or $500, I think, a month out of my husband's paycheck. So I don't know. Um, I've, I've actually been looking into food pantries. I've been buying like my body care at the dollar store, which you know it's kind of fun, but the body care isn't exactly the best. <laughs> um, you know, so I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I, and I know food pantries are not gonna have diabetic stuff, so this is it's just been a really stressful week. But, um, but anyway, um, that's the reason why I didn't take any pictures.